Hey everyone, it's Cyrus from Gempact. Ever wanted to make jewelry with leather cord or thick cord, but couldn't figure out a way to put the clasp that you want on it? Well, I've got a great trick that'll allow you to use any type of clasp that you want. That's right, any type of clasp. Almost, except for, except for mystery clasp. But other than that, every type of clasp. It's close enough, almost every clasp. Give me a break, come on. All right, anyway, let's get to it. So here's what you need. You need the wire, obviously. I have a few sizes here. And uh, you need your cord. You're also gonna need a couple tools. You're gonna need a wire cutter, uh, a sharp one if you have one. And you're gonna need two pliers. It's better if, if one of them is a little bit long to grab the wire, but it doesn't really matter if it's a flat nose or a round nose as long as you get a good grip on it. And last but not least, you need uh, a clasp or a jump ring to attach it to. And you need some super glue. Uh, this is to hold the, the wire to the cord so that it doesn't move after we're finished. For this kind of job, make sure that you use a soft wire instead of half hard because you need it to, to bend, you need it to be flexible. If you use thinner wire, then you're gonna have to do more loops, more coils around it. Uh, if you use thicker wire, you don't need to do as many loops, but it's harder to bend. If you have your cord ready and can compare it to a few different sizes, you'll get a better idea of what will work best, but it's it's a judgment call. I ended up choosing this cord to use, not because it looks the best, just because it's easier to see. And uh, we're going to be using the 22 gauge wire with it because uh, I feel like it has the best proportion to the cord. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to just make sure that the cord will fit into the clasp. But if it doesn't, you can always just get a jump ring and put it in like that and then attach it, attach the jump ring to the clasp later. So we're going to do both ends. It doesn't really matter for now. So we put the jump ring through and uh, be sure that you have more cord than what you need because you can always, you can always cut off the end, but you can't add it, add to it later. Especially if this is your first time, you want to make sure you have enough room. Uh, yeah, same goes for the wire too. You don't want to take uh, too little wire and be sorry later. Okay, again, we're we're using soft wire. We're gonna pinch it right at the end, and then we're gonna make a coil. Okay, so notice how this part is not so uh, not so clean. Uh, don't worry about that. We'll just we're gonna pull it on, on it later. We made these five neat coils. Uh, the number of coils that you need depends on the the gauge that you're using and the size of your cord. But uh, I think for this one, five is probably good. And uh, well, we can't just end it right there. We have to make it so that it will keep its shape. So with this end, we're gonna thread it right through the bottom here, and actually make a knot out of this. This isn't a wire wrap after all. This is a this is a knot that we're doing with wire. It's a lot easier if the wire is straight. The wire came out through this end now. I'm going to use one of my pliers and let's pull. Okay. So we basically have a knot and all we need to do now is tighten it. Just going to pull from both ends. Uh, this is where the pliers might come in handy. You can try it with your your hands first. So Make sure it looks good from all sides. This feels pretty safe to me. Um, you can go and tighten it a little bit more if you want. Uh, you can kind of rotate it using your plier. You know, each layer you do one at a time. You can kind of see there's like a little bit of slack each time I'm going. So I'm just going one layer at a time. Once I get to the bottom, that slack is on the bottom, and I can just pull again. I'm going to use the plier this time. And then again, you can use the, the flat nose to make it a little bit neater. Okay, so... 
this is basically it. All we have to do is clean it up. Uh, we have to cut the we have to cut the ends off and make sure it's nice and clean that way. I showed you this trick in some other videos, but you know it's just so useful. When we need to cut it really close, I am just going to make a small mark into the wire with my cutter without actually cutting through. I'm just going to leave it like that, and then if I had tried to cut it, it would not really go. So. as far down as I can, get as much in there as I can, make a mark, there we go. Okay, so we have this part done. To finish it off, we just need to secure it a little bit with the super glue. Uh, I'm going to do it right there where the end is, just a drop. You don't want to put too much or else uh, the leather gets brittle. And on the other side, and then on the short end, this end, if we're not using it, uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put a drop of super glue on that end only. This is to harden the end that we don't want. Carefully, you don't want to nick this one, which we're going to be using. And then just one last bit of really, really tiny drop of super glue right there. Okay, and then you have one half of it. Now I'm just gonna do the other side really quick so that you can see it all over again. Coil the wire neatly around the cord, thread the end through, pull it out with the plier, and pull both ends to tighten it up. After it's tightened up, you can go a little bit further with the plier to try to make it a little bit tighter. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is before you actually cut the ends and finish it off, you want to make sure that uh, that it is whatever length you want so you can adjust it while you still have a chance to make changes. I'm just going to cut that end, cut the other end, being extra careful, drop a super glue, and then on the short end as well. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so there it is. Uh, I sped through it a little bit so it's not perfect, but um, yeah, it's pretty close. So I mentioned that this will work with any clasp, and the trick to that is basically these jump rings right here. And there you go. It's not something you see every day, but hey, I said every clasp, right? Now this takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's a really useful skill to have, because you don't have to worry about not being able to use a clasp that you want. Try it out, practice it a couple times, and once you get the hang of it, things will get a lot easier really fast. If this video was helpful for you, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more jewelry-related fun and more helpful tips. Thanks for watching!